Manchester United right now feel like a club on a knife edge. One defeat can cause chaos among the fans. One or two wins can bring some momentum. But the shifts can be massive from game to game. But Man United as a whole right now, the football club, is closer to chaos than it is to championships. And for a lot of United fans, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the biggest problem at the club. Now, I do agree that in part Solskjaer is the problem. And I want to explain what I mean in this video. But he's far from the biggest problem. And what I want to do in this video is not run through a list of excuses as to why Solskjaer shouldn't get the sack. But I want to give more context to a situation for, which for me is getting dangerously close to becoming toxic among United fans. Nobody can deny that there are problems with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer right now. You all know me by now. I'm a big supporter of his. But what we've seen this season just isn't good enough from United. We've won three of our opening 11 Premier League games. We've lost to Bournemouth, to Newcastle, to Crystal Palace, to West Ham. It's not good enough from a United manager. And there are definite mistakes and problems that Solskjaer has been part of. And the tactics still confuse me. Switching back to the 4-2-3-1 against Bournemouth when it's the three at the back that opened the door properly against Liverpool and Chelsea and showed a different sort of United setup because we get defeated by the teams who go into the low block because we don't have a proper number 10. And we'll get onto the players in a bit. But Solskjaer is clearly part of the problem at the moment. It's just that I don't see sacking Solskjaer as a solution that a lot of you do. I mean, if you look towards the summer, I still stand by what United did. I think what we did was right. Maguire was a smart signing. Overpriced, but the right signing for United. Same goes for wan Bissaka, and Dan James has proved out to be one of the best buyers out of any team during the summer. And I agree with all the players that left. Lukaku, Sanchez, Darmian, Smalling, Herrera. He wanted too much. Lukaku. I, as, as good as he is, as a goal scorer, I didn't want him at my club. Now, that, that might seem like a naive thing to say, given how big our problems are up front this year, but I saw it as, a, as the right decision for what I wanted United to be going forward. And that didn't involve Lukaku and Sanchez, who are ultimately there for the money first, and it's been majorly part of the problem. But United clearly didn't do enough in the summer. We all knew we needed a new attacking midfielder. We all knew... We needed another central midfielder. But we didn't get either. Is that Solskjaer's fault? Is that bigger problems behind him? Or is he complicit in the problems? At that point, we can only guess. But what we did do this summer, I stand by as correct. It's what we didn't do that's hurting us and hurting Solskjaer, certainly at the moment. But it would be absolutely naive and foolish of me to say that Solskjaer isn't part of the problem right now. And when you see what Brendan Rodgers is doing at Leicester, what Frank Lampard's done so quickly at Chelsea, it takes away the validity of quite a few excuses that some fans have for Solskjaer. Just, just a sim this is the, it's such a complicated situation for me because it's not as simple as saying, just give him more time. Because you need proof that it's going to work. We had that in the first three months, but was that the new manager bounce? The whole situation is murky, is grey. And it's an opinion as to whether you think the right solution is getting rid of Solskjaer or not. It's just that I don't, with all the other problems we've got at our club as well, look at the quality of the squad. As I said, the three players we signed this summer, correct. The players we let go, also correct. But our squad is wafer thin. And again, is that now down to Solskjaer not bringing in any new signings or the club not backing him with enough money to bring in the signings that are required? And it's not just about spending big it's about spending smart and we all know that we haven't done that in a long time maybe this summer was the start of something different i don't know but it's just so hard to point your finger exactly at where the problems lie at united but solskjaer is certainly responsible for some of it but the quality of this team is not good enough leicester's is better than ours liverpool's better than ours spurs all of our rivals now in the Premier League have better squads than United. And that's why the money is needed to change that. And it should have happened more in the summer, but it didn't. And now we're seeing the fallout from that this year. But ultimately, we all know the root of the problems at United right now are the Glazers and Ed Woodward. And that's nothing new. 
And there's not really anything I can say at this point about the Glazers and Woodward that hasn't already been said. But they are the leech on United. The blood-sucking money grabbers that they are are still taking money out hand over fist and using United as the cash cow that it has become. And will anything ever change that? Protests of the green and gold back when they took over didn't stop it. Some more protests now, mainly on social media, but in and around the ground as well. That hasn't done anything. Will there be a Saudi takeover? Will that bring different problems? Absolutely, it would. But it doesn't really seem like Woodward's going anywhere. And this whole PR-driven campaign that he's been doing in the last couple of months, whereas normally he's so quiet, the guy is so keen on protecting his own, I don't know, protecting himself rather than anything else United or Solskjaer related. That's Woodward's focus. The Glazers' focus is all about the money. Woodward's about himself. When you've got those people running your club, you're going to be shit. And that's the main problem. And we know that's the main problem. But again, it doesn't exempt Solskjaer from problems that are happening tactically, in terms of coaching. There are clear issues with him as well. It's just that the problems run all throughout the club. Look at the stadium. Old Trafford was once the best Premier League stadium. Now it's leaking. Now it just needs heavy investment. But the only return that the Glazers are going to get is if Old Trafford gets increased in size. And that will bring bigger match day revenue. That's the only way that the Glazers would put more money into it. That's not going to happen. Look at the academy. For years it was left under-invested. And it allowed a city and other clubs to sort of take control. Whereas United were normally so dominant there and the players who were then coming out of our academy weren't good enough. The last four years, that's changed. But that should never have been allowed to dip. Scouting. Again, we've upgraded in the last year or two. But why was that allowed to dip? It's the reactionary nature of United in every single respect. It's not as if we can look down there, spot the problem and stop it before it happens. We have to walk face first into the problem let it cause some chaos, and then solve it. And when you're reactive rather than proactive, you're always going to be chasing somebody else. That's been United's problem for a long, long time. And it's the same now under Solskjaer. Look, I'm f I find it really hard to talk about Solskjaer and United right now because of the nature of everything. It feels like it's becoming toxic. And I don't want it to become toxic. So I'd like to present content like this that hopefully gives people a chance to take a step back, look a bit of context, a bit of circumstance, rather than just blasting in one direction, which is what I feel a lot of United fans are doing. It's not helping. But Solskjaer, he's making problems. Himself. Don't get these formations. Don't get some of the player selections again. Brandon Williams being left for Ashley Young, just... Bin him. What are you causing your own problems for? But the problems at United are so rooted throughout the club that so much has to happen, I think, for United to be challenging for the title again. It's just... I think I've, I've more accepted the circumstances that United are currently in. Now, a lot of you are going to say that's about lowering of expectation, but it's an acceptance of the current reality. United are so far away from that top four right now that even thinking about the Premier League is ridiculous. It's about steps in the right direction. We had some in the summer. We had some last year with Solskjaer. We ballsed up by giving him the contract too early. That was Ed Woodward's fault. But Solskjaer, I just don't see how sacking him right now is going to take United down a different path that's going to lead back to glory immediately like some may have you believe. And maybe if you bring Brendan Rodgers in, or if you bring Jurgen Klopp in, or Mauricio Pochettino, or anybody else who's a better manager than Solskjaer, you would see an upturn. We saw an upturn for three months under Solskjaer at the start with the exact same players. The exact same players now who are massively underperforming. But it's just, it, it's just a collection of problems at United. And it depends where your agenda is, I suppose. But all of them are responsible in part. Who is more responsible? That's down to your opinion. But for me, I'm not Solskjaer out. Will that change? Maybe. Maybe I'll begin to lose patience as well. 
And maybe I'm foolish for sticking to it, but I am sticking to it. I'm sticking behind Solskjaer and I want to see things improve. And we saw it in those results against Liverpool, Norwich and Chelsea. And then we, two steps down backward again against Bournemouth, against a team that sits in a low block. It will get worse before it gets better. But I just don't see a better future right now than by sacking Solskjaer and then starting down some other path again. We've got to have some sort of bravery in, a, in an idea and stick into it. And I think we made some smart decisions in the summer, which could hopefully be a foundation if he is to stay on and get given more time to maybe sort this situation. But I want to know where you stand on it, because as I said, it's becoming increasingly difficult, I think, to talk about it. Simply because there's, there's just so many problems at United and it's not just about the manager. But as is the case in modern football, it's the manager who gets his head under the guillotine. And maybe that's the path we're going down again with Solskjaer. I just don't think it's the right one to do. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. It's not a good situation for United at the moment. It's chopping, it's changing week to week, game to game. But what's your overall thinking about how United are now and what's coming in the next month or two at least for United and for Solskjaer? Let me know what you think about that in the comments.